Hey, I'm Bennett, and you are watching Living My Alaska. We are taking our camper van on an epic trip to the massive and wild Denali National Park. Stunning. Stunning. We go for some hikes, we spot some awesome wildlife, and there's so much more. It all starts now on Living My Alaska. Hey, I'm Bennett. And I'm Dawn. And this is Living My Alaska on YouTube. We have 10 days in Denali National Park, and we are super excited. We we're making a short stop in the beautiful little town of Talkeetna. This is Tough heat in the gear shop. Going inside? Yeah. The historic and family owned, locally owned, Talkeetna the gear shop. This place is fantastic. If you ever come to Talkeetna or make it through Alaska and you want a place to find some really great gear at fantastic prices and support the local business owners, this is the place to come. Ready to fight the mosquitoes. Tuck in the gear shop, folks. Come and visit sometime. Wonderful people, wonderful place, wonderful community. Hi, so we're getting our bike racks ready. A company called One Up makes these bike racks. And they're fantastic, really sturdy, and they bolt onto these fantastic Owl Van Sherpa racks. So the bikes will go vertical like this instead of horizontal. Let's go get some bikes. Oh, these are heavier than our other bikes. Super excited. I've always wanted to try the electric bikes. Summertime in Talkeetna, Alaska. It's getting back to life. It's amazing how quickly it changes around here. Just a month ago, there was still snow on this road. It was quiet. Headed into Talkeetna downtown. Definitely more lively today. Sun is out, it is beautiful. The historic downtown Talkeetna Main Street, Fairview Inn, Nagley's store is over 100 years old. And it's a very interesting place that my wife wants to stop called Wall Bikes up here. And it's basically a giant collection of old items and junk. <laughs> and uh, we've never been inside, so we're gonna check this out. It's called Wall Bikes, and here it is. Let's see if he's open. This is Walmart's redheaded stepchild. <laughs> Look at this, folks. Wow, at the collection of eccentrics. Let's go inside and see what this is about. What are you going to do if you find something you terribly need? Are you taking it, it? Take it to Denali with yes, us? Yes, it's going to go to Denali. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. I where going. <laughs> How about we start by going inside and saying hello? Let's go. Ooh, I love it. Pour on some sap on that. Yeah, we could make that into a sap boiler. There's all sorts of great, I mean, there's a whole bunch in here, and this is actually an old wood-fired cook stove, which in itself is worth a fortune, especially in that country of Alaska. What did you ask me before we got out of the van? What are you What happens do? if we find a beautiful uh -huh. wood stove that so, we might need? Yep, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the inside of the famous wall mics. This is a fantastic place. Look at the stuff in here, folks. It's endless and it's really eclectic. Uh -huh. Everything from medicine, to leather holsters. This gentleman's pushing 80 that owns this, and he's been here for, I don't know what, 60 years, 40 something years, I think. That is the mountain called Denali, the Alaska Range. You're looking at the the Denali State Park, a little bit different from Denali National Park, which is on the other side of the mountain. And that's where we're headed to the other side of the mountain. What do you think, honey? Stunning? Stunning. Greetings from the Denali Highway. It's May and it's springtime. And we're van camping in Vanna Grayling. are boondocking and found one of the best spots I believe you could find. Pretty amazing. This can be our home for tonight. Maybe tomorrow night too. We'll see. Enjoying some Alaska springtime. All right. This is our view for the night. Not bad. 
for a boom donkey spot. What are you saying, hon? I think it's as good as it gets. Pretty this damn is, great. This is how we live my Alaska, right here. It's almost 10 p.m. I'm ready to go in and get warm. Excited for another day to come tomorrow. I'll try to do some fishing. See you tomorrow. Good morning from Denali Highway. We spent the night here at this lovely little spot next to a river running through and just over my shoulder to the right was a bull moose this morning. Wanted to share with you our morning and what a beautiful sight, early summer in Denali Highway. This is why we live in Alaska and we love to go camping in our camper van because it brings us to places like this. But it's time for breakfast. No reason to rough it. We have toasted hash browns, boiled eggs, some of our favorite cheese, fruit smoothies, yogurt. Here you go, love. <laughs> is that good? Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions, <laughs> yes. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, these look fantastic. We don't normally cook much in our camper van because we don't like to smell it up, but it's a bit chilly outside this morning. Boar's Head brand turkey sausage for breakfast. How is it? Not bad, huh? Tasty. Good. Hi, so we are on Denali Highway, had a nice breakfast, and now Bennett is going to see if he can do some fishing. I'm not so sure this creek is running pretty fast. I'm not sure what he can catch, if anything, but we'll see. smelled me. <laughs> so on this road, as we walk, there are moose prints. This is the track of an adult female moose. You can see her hoof is right here. She's going this way. This is the back of her heel. This is the front. We know it's a female by the way this is shaped. If it were a bull, it would be straighter and he'd have two what they call tines marks in the sand back here. And you can see where she walks straight up the road. The animals in Alaska aren't stupid. They're gonna find the easiest path to where they wanna go. Welcome to the Denali Highway in Alaska, everyone. One of my favorite places to be. So we stopped on the side of the road here in Denali Highway and Bennett's throwing a fish hook in the water and I'm going for just a little stroll around this beautiful lake. Thought I would take you guys with us. Here we go. Very soft marsh out here. Be careful where I step. There's the husband right off the road there, trying to see what he can do with the fishing situation. So check this out, this is kind of cool. This is a beaver dam. This little levee right here with grass and wood and sticks, the beavers built this. And what happens is the fish love this water downstream from, from the beaver pond. So this is a fantastic place to fish. Somebody's broken this beaver pond so that water can flow through here correctly, but I'm not catching any fish. Won't be any good here, it's too shallow. The deep water is over there. Sure 
glad I'm not in a traffic jam in Dallas right now. Nine thirty in the evening, nine thirty p.m. along the Denali Highway. We've been planning this trip all winter, but we're super excited to finally be here. Check this out, folks. Wow. Jeep Overlanding Club coming down the Denali Highway. And Jeep's going around the corner on the mountainside, and now it's back to just us, and it's quiet. What a scene this is. This is good. This is why we live here. This is why we go camping. This is why we own a camper van. This is what it's about. This is why we endure the long winters in Alaska. This is the reward. Love it. Thank you so much for watching as we hunt, we harvest, we homestead, and we adventure our way through the last frontier. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos because we have so much more to share with you as we show you what it means when we say we are living my Alaska. See you next time.